Hello, sports fans. Welcome to Thunder Weekly. I'm Rick Heath. With me, Mark Rogers. Mark, we're at a great place, Neighborhood Jams in Norman on Main Street next to the railroad tracks, a great breakfast and lunch place. I mean, look at this food. They got the jam biscuits. I mean, look at those. They're almost as big as a saucer. Candied bacon. I mean, who doesn't like bacon, right? And monkey bread. I mean, that's just to start with. That's not counting all the other great food that they have here also. I'm, a, I'm unbelievably happy to be here. It's hard to get in this place. I feel like I had to know somebody like you to get in the door. The food is tremendous. If you haven't been to one of the locations, you've got to get in uh, today. It's incredible. Lunch yeah, it's, and, and you mentioned two locations, one on North Penn, 150th, and one here in Norman on Main Street next to the railroad tracks. Great food, great breakfast, and a good lunch also here at Neighborhood Jams. Mark, I think the, the Thunder season is emerging, and I think there's four storylines that are emerging along with it. Uh, you know, the four storylines are, of course, PG. I mean, Paul George is playing MVP-type basketball. Um, the complimentary starters are playing well for the Thunder. The bench is playing well now. And Billy Donovan, I think, is coming into his own. And so we'll take each one of those one at a time. But... You know, right now, I think the Thunder are playing, well, they are, without a doubt, playing the best basketball of the season right now. They're on a winning streak, which is, has been good. I think that they've, uh, you know, they've found some ways to win against good teams, especially at home. So I, that, that's important. But, you know, Paul George, is, I mean, he's clearly an MVP candidate. He's got an MVP resume. I think James Harden's having a great uh, January, one of the more unbelievable months we've seen in the NBA in a long time with the volume scoring because of the injuries in Houston. Uh, they're back a little bit more whole now. they got to wait a couple more weeks for Capella. But I think Paul George has bailed the Thunder out of several games this season. You know, you see 36, 37, 47 point nights for Paul George. And uh, I mean, he's transcended his game from last season to being a good player to this season being one of the very best players in the NBA. I, th I think he's more comfortable now, yeah. obviously, in the, in, 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 with the Thunder and in his position with the Thunder. And we'll talk more about that. But hey, let me tell you about a way to win two tickets to the Orlando Magic Thunder game, February 5th. All you have to do is tweet me at, at RickHeath10. And these tickets are courtesy of XR Tickets and Limousine Service. XR Tickets at 600 911 for the best in Thunder tickets and concert tickets. And all you have to do to win two tickets is tweet me at RickHeath10. We'll be right back after this. I'm attorney Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law. Over the past 20 years, we have fought for Oklahomans who have been injured by medical malpractice and medical device injuries. These injuries are caused by products including defective hip implants, transvaginal mesh implants, Zofran, Zeralto, Invocana, and IVC filters. Unfortunately, these type of injuries happen every day, and it's good to have a local expert to turn to for help. On behalf of myself and the entire McIntyre Law team, I can assure you, no one will work harder than we will. Maddie McMillan's Irish Pub, now open at 150th and Penn, featuring traditional Irish favorites and a, with a modern twist. Maddie's is a pub-inspired eatery, features nearly 30 Irish and American whiskeys and scotches, as well as beers, cocktails like the Guinness Float, ice cream and Guinness, or Eden's Apple, hard cider and Guinness. Maddie McMillan's hosts kegs and eggs brunch every Saturday and Sunday and is sure to be the perfect hangover cure. The brunch features omelet bar, Bloody Mary station, along with $2 mimosas and $13 mimosas carafes. Grab your friends and hang out at Marty McMillan's on 150th and North Penn. Come in, Sam, it's Jack Elliott. Do you read me over? Hey, guys. I'm up here with PK. We've got your wings. Right on time. I hope you brought us some sauce, too. We've got seven kinds of sauces, Sam. We've got sweet chili, hickory bourbon, barbecue. Great wings don't just fall from the sky. They come from Louie's, where we're preparing food fresh daily. Garlic parmesan, ghost pepper. Drop them whenever you're ready. People love them with our world-famous burgers and pizzas. OK, stand by for a drop-off. Over. At Louie's, where in your neighborhood. Morefit Medical Center features integrative family medicine, a dietitian with functional medicine, also smart graft hair restoration, microblading permanent makeup, IV therapy, hormone replacement therapy, micronutrient testing, and microbiome testing. All that you need to get well and make your medical uh, history better is at Morefit Medical Center in Esperanza Plaza. Give them a call. 
That number is 696-0499, Morefit Medical Center. Laser Light Skin Clinic offers you our newest treatment to safely and dramatically eliminate body fat. Cool Sculpting is a non-invasive procedure clinically proven to reduce fat on targeted areas, giving you real results. The treatment freezes fat cells, which are then cleared away by the body naturally. Cool Sculpting at Laser Light is fast and efficient. Treatments are supervised by Dr. Victoria Johnson. And best of all, you can go right back to your regular activities. Call Laser Light today to schedule your free consultation with a board-certified physician. And welcome back, Thunder Weekly here from Neighborhood Jams. I'm Rick Heath, Mark Rogers with me. Neighborhood Jam, two locations, North Penn and 150th, and here in Norman on Main Street where we are. Great location, got monkey bread, candied bacon, biscuits, plus uh, bennies and all kinds of other uh, wonderful breakfast food and lunches. All right, let's talk about the Thunder. Now, I, I said four story points. We talked a little bit about Paul George playing the best basketball of his career for the Thunder right now. But I want to start out with the complimentary starters. I mean, Paul George and, and Russell Westbrook are getting a lot of pub, and they should. But I think one of the one of the hidden keys is the complimentary players like Terrence Ferguson and Jeremy Grant have improved their game and are playing at their best level, and it's helped the Thunder uh, tremendously this season. Well, their outside shooting has really peaked up. I mean, it's picked up. It's gotten a lot better. Oklahoma City's gone from the last in the league to now we're in the upper 20s in the league. And it's because Terrence Ferguson is starting to shoot it well. Paul George has been very good uh, also. Patrick Patterson's hit some shots. So that's a big key for Oklahoma City is because teams are going to play them off. They're going to pack the paint. They're going to try to keep Russell Westbrook out of the lane. They're going to try to keep Steven Adams off the board. And so the more those guys continue to shoot the basketball well, the better off the Thunder are going to be. Now, life in the NBA is 82 games. And just because you played well for five, we've seen the Thunder. They can go into a mode where they don't play well for a week or two or they play well for a week or two. So it's important that they keep this consistency up in this groove that they're in right now. I, I think you're right. I mean, the consistency will be the key moving forward. But Terrence Ferguson's playing some good defense. Jeremy Grant is playing good defense. He's hitting some shots. He's rebounding. He's getting to the basket. So those two guys are adding a lot to that starting lineup where you don't have to depend on Russell and Paul George so much. Now, of course, Paul George has been able to shoulder most of the load, and Russ has let him, and we'll talk more about that later. But, you know, I, I think those complimentary players have been doing well. Uh, you know, and Terrence Ferguson, as young as he is, he, he's been given a lot of confidence by Russell Westbrook and Paul George saying, when you got it, shoot it. You know, when the guys are, you know, the leaders of your team are telling you, hey, we believe in you, shoot the ball. I mean, it gives you a lot of boost. He's a young guy, and he started the season in a huge slump with confidence. And so, again, I think it's important that confidence issues are going to come. I mean, they're going to still be on the road. He's not a 26, 27-year-old veteran right now with a lot of experience in the league. But, you know, Sam Presti envisioned this team to be very tough in the passing lanes with a lot of length and a lot of athletic ability. And that's what they've got. Ferguson's defending well. Jeremy Grant is defending well. We saw both of those guys really give fits to Giannis Antetokounmpo when the Bucks were in Oklahoma City. So uh, that, that's a positive sign that those guys can defend some of the elite players in the league and still, you know, do a good job. And that's one of the things that that you know has come to the forefront is the defense that the Thunder have been playing. It's top notch, uh, and that's the one thing that that they've been able to hang you know, hang their hat on or be consistent with for the most part. Now, occasionally they have lapses of, of you know, when they're playing a lesser opponent, they sometimes play down to those lesser opponents. But when it's needed, they, they against the top teams, they've been playing really good defense. Yeah, I, I, one thing you have noticed is that the Western Conference standings are starting, it's starting to pick up some steam. Where at the beginning of the year, Oklahoma City had some buffer between some of the teams that we thought that they would be competing against in the standings. But Utah is red hot. Houston is pretty hot. Uh, Portland has done a nice job, and so that lead has shrunk, and so there's not much margin for error. So as the season goes on, yachts the NBA, it's 82 games, they're going to be nice. If you don't have it, you're going to lose no matter who's the opponent in the other bench. But Oklahoma City's got to bring that consistency and effort on defense if they want to have one of the top four spots, which I think is crucial. It's going to be tough to win a road playoff series this year if you're Oklahoma City. Especially, you know, and now even though the Thunder have been playing well on the road against top flight yep. opponents, but still, you want to have a home home court advantage if possible. So they need to finish strong. There's no doubt about that, you know. And we haven't even mentioned Stephen Adams. I mean, what a warrior Stephen Adams is. God, He doesn't fit the complimentary players. He fits in the stars. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's uh, he's had an all-star type season, too. You know, just so strong around the basket. Um, 
had, had career high scoring, had a 20-20 game earlier this year. And so I think his growth and development is it's still moving in an upward trend. Just got to keep his ankle healthy. I mean, he takes so much contact out there and gets beat up a lot. The Thunder really need him if they want to you know, keep winning. And, you know, and, and yeah, because he's that anchor in the defense. He is the anchor. You know, if they get by everybody else, he's always back there to help out and, and, and provide a, a shot blocker. So. The starters have been playing well. We'll talk next about the bench. But, hey, we are at Neighborhood Jams, two locations in the metro area, 150th and North Penn in Oklahoma City, and on Main Street here next to Railroad Tracks in Norman. Great food. As you can tell, we've got the, the huge biscuits, candied bacon, monkey bread, as well as some of the other food they'll be bringing out in just a minute. Also, if you want two tickets to the Orlando Magic and Thunder game, then you all you have to do to be eligible to win those two tickets is tweet me at Rick Heath 10. That's at Rick Heath 10. Tweet me there. Tell me how much you'd like to have, who you're going to take, whatever. Just impress me with your tweet, and you can have a chance to win two tickets to the Orlando Magic Thunder game February 5th. And you'll have a ton of fun. Those tickets, courtesy of XR Tickets and Limousine, if you're looking for the best in Thunder tickets or concert tickets, XR Tickets will be able to help you with those. Go to xrtickets.com or give them a call at 600 9111. We'll be right back after this. I'm Attorney Noble McIntyre at McIntyre Law. Over the past 20 years, we have fought for Oklahomans who have been injured by medical malpractice and medical device injuries. These injuries are caused by products including defective hip implants, transvaginal mesh implants, Zofran, Zeralto, Invokana, and IVC filters. Unfortunately, these type of injuries happen every day and it's good to have a local expert to turn to for help. On behalf of myself and the entire McIntyre Law team, I can assure you, no one will work harder than we will. Come in, Sam. It's Jack Elliott. Do you read me over? Hey, guys. I'm up here with PK. We've got your wings. Right on time. I hope you brought us some sauce, too. We've got seven kinds of sauces, Sam. We've got sweet chili, hickory bourbon, barbecue. Great wings don't just fall from the sky. They come from Louie's, where we're preparing food fresh daily. Garlic parmesan, ghost pepper. Drop them whenever you're ready. People love them with our world-famous burgers and pizzas. Okay, stand by for a drop-off. Over. At Louie's, we're in your neighborhood. Morefit Medical Center features integrative family medicine, a dietitian with functional medicine, also smart graft hair restoration, microblading permanent makeup, IV therapy, hormone replacement therapy, micronutrient testing, and microbiome testing. All that you need to get well and make your medical uh, history better is at Morefit Medical Center in Esperanza Plaza. Give them a call. That number is 696-0499, Morefit Medical Center. Laser Light Skin Clinic offers you our newest treatment to safely and dramatically eliminate body fat. Cool Sculpting is a non-invasive procedure clinically proven to reduce fat on targeted areas, giving you real results. The treatment freezes fat cells, which are then cleared away by the body naturally. Cool Sculpting at Laser Light is fast and efficient. Treatments are supervised by Dr. Victoria Johnson. And best of all, you can go right back to your regular activities. Call Laser Light today to schedule your free consultation with a board-certified physician. And welcome back, Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath, Mark Rogers at a wonderful place. Neighborhood Jams in Norman on Main Street next to the railroad tracks. Man, what great food, Mark. Look what at, are you doing to me? Why do I have to sit here and I look know, at this? Look at the, the El Jefe. I eat it. The El Jefe is a skillet omelet with uh, tortilla, pulled pork, That's cheese, great. egg, hash browns. This is the Cobb salad for lunch. Um, this is the way I like it with shrimp instead of the chicken and bacon, but you can get it any way you want it. They will fix it for you, customize that. And then this is the, uh, the third wheel, which is a carrot cake, pancake, blueberry, and here is a uh, banana nut pancake. I mean, those are, oh God, does this look great. Oh, I, what I would do is I would have that for breakfast and I'd come back and have this a little bit later for lunch. There you go. So and, you and then, that, and then have that. So that you, not, the salad, you can have that. I'm going to have this stuff, which is, uh, yeah. you know, more up my alley. Yeah, well, so. I'm going to start out with the biscuits and the monkey bread over there with, with the bacon and all that. Anyway, let's get back. To, I'm, I'm distracted by this wonderful, wonderful food. And we want to thank great. Andrew and Angelica for, for bringing that to us here today. Um, okay, so we've gone into the, into the uh, storylines of contributors on on the starters but Paul George has been playing as you said earlier at a PG PG 13 PG 
PG quality MVP um, type season. And Russell Westbrook has been playing well, but not up to his standards. But you know, it's still they're still the two that carry the load here for the Thunder. I think that the, the Thunder will be have room for improvement. And one of those areas is Russell's shooting. Uh, teams are backing off of him and letting him have room to shoot. I know the Thunder uh, would really like him to take three-point shots and shots at the basket. They don't want a lot of two-point shots, but whatever it takes for Russell to get his confidence back is is ultra important. You know, the Bucks really laid off of him and he struggled. He was five of twenty against Milwaukee, but he still has rebounds, he still has assists, and he's one of the very few guys in the league that can sustain that kind of shooting corp- shooting performance and still be a positive impact on the game. Yeah, you know, and that's the one thing that Russ's mat- maturation, okay? I mean, he's not shooting it well, but he's not, you know, it's, I know it's frustrating him like crazy because he's been a, a, a good mid-range shooter. He's been getting to the rim and getting free throws. Those aren't happening now. But he's still being able to, as you said, get his assists, get his rebounds. His scoring is down, but his overall play is up. He's playing better defense when he wants to. But still, Paul George is number one option on this team. And the key to that is... Russell Westbrook's okay with that. Well, I think, right. I think with the confidence being low as it is, he's learned to uh, trust and appreciate his other teammates, even in the middle of games. You know, he's trying to find guys uh, for shots, and that, that's, that's best. That's best for this team. You know, and, I, and I, people have always said, you know, Russ is best when he gets 15 to 18 points, you know, double-digit assists, double-digit rebounds, because that way he's helping everybody else get better. And I think it's finally coming in when the shot's not there. He's going, okay, I, hey, I got good teammates. I trust them. And I'm going to let them have the shot. If, if they're ready to take it and they're open, I'm going to get them the ball. Well, one of the adjustments that Billy Donovan has made is Russ is coming out of games a little bit earlier now. Paul George is getting some run by himself with the ball in his hands. And he's going so good right now that he's carrying the bench. Uh, just getting his own shot, which is, that's incredibly impressive to me. And I don't know, it'll be curious at the end of the season if the Thunder need a big basket, if the ball's not going to be in Paul George's hands. I mean, you're going to force a double, uh, he can get his own shot at this point. So I think that this will be an interesting thing to watch as the season goes along is how Billy Donovan tries to run offense. Well, you know, and we'll talk about Billy Donovan's rotations here in a little bit because you touched on him. But, you know, Doris Burke against uh, Milwaukee, Doris Burke, one of my favorite commentators, she made a good point. She goes, they need to get the ball out of Paul George's hands. They need to double team him because he was doing so well. So at that point, it will live free up Russell because he's always the one that's been getting double teamed and making it hard to get to the basket. So now it's kind of reversed. Paul George is still good enough to make the shot even if he is double teamed, but it's going to free up everybody else when they start doing that because they're not going to let Paul George go off for 37 uh, in the playoffs. I do think Russell has a chance to improve on catch and shoot threes. I think he has always been okay in transition threes. Where he's really lacked is just ball possession threes where he feels like, hey, the shot clock's winding down or they've given me some space, so I'm just going to dribble and then pull up. He doesn't seem to have as much rhythm. So. I'm pretty high. I think the Thunder definitely have some room for improvement here, and most of that goes through number zero. Yeah, you know, and, and he's he's showing that maturation where, you know, he's not forcing things as much. Now, he still will drive you crazy. I mean, that's going to be Russell. I mean, he will still have me screaming at the TV or at, in, in the, at the game itself. Russ, don't take that shot because a lot of times he will take an early shot count, I mean, a shot clock three when it's not needed. You know, when you need to, you know, the, the, you need to burn clock, you need to get a good shot. And instead, he'll come down there and jack a three, and you're just going, ah, Russ. But at the same time, he, he, he is Russ, and he's going to do – he's going to – he's feeling the game better, I think, now than he has maybe in the past. Yeah. Uh, well, I, again, shooting is going to be key for this team. Yeah. Right. And, his, and his is a, is a huge point going forward. Hey, Auto Accessories Unlimited on Indian Hills Road and I-35 in Norman. Get all your truck accessories, especially 4x4s and remote starts. Never get in another cold car in this huge winter. You don't want to do that. They got remote starts. Reward your uh, significant other, your wife, your girlfriend, your daughter, whatever. Get them a remote start and don't let them be freezing out there in a cold car again. Don't let that happen. Just go to Auto Accessories Unlimited, I-35 Indian Hills Road, and have them install a remote start today. We'll be right back after this. Come in, Sam. It's Jack Elliott. Do you read me over? Hey, guys. I'm up here with BK. We've got your wings. 
Right on time. I hope you brought us some sauce, too. We've got seven kinds of sauces, Sam. We've got sweet chili, hickory bourbon, barbecue. Great wings don't just fall from the sky. They come from Louis, where we're preparing food fresh daily. Garlic parmesan, ghost pepper. Drop them whenever you're ready. People love them with our world-famous burgers and pizzas. Okay, stand by for a drop-off. Over. At Louis, we're in your neighborhood. Morefit Medical Center features integrated family medicine, a dietitian with functional medicine, also smart graft hair restoration, microblading permanent makeup, IV therapy, hormone replacement therapy, micronutrient testing, and microbiome testing. All that you need to get well and make your medical uh, history better is at Morefit Medical Center in Esperanza Plaza. Give them a call. That number is 696-0499, Morefit Medical Center. Laser Light Skin Clinic offers you our newest treatment to safely and dramatically eliminate body fat. Cool Sculpting is a non-invasive procedure clinically proven to reduce fat on targeted areas, giving you real results. The treatment freezes fat cells, which are then cleared away by the body naturally. Cool Sculpting at Laser Light is fast and efficient. Treatments are supervised by Dr. Victoria Johnson. And best of all, you can go right back to your regular activities. Call Laser Light today to schedule your free consultation with a board-certified physician. I want to thank some wonderful sponsors of Thunder Weekly, Trails Golf Club in Norman. If you're looking for a place for 2019 to bring you, your family, or your, your company, or individual, they have all kinds of different options for memberships, and they have them on special right now at the Trails Golf Club. So if you're looking for a great place on a championship course in a family-friendly atmosphere, give Kathy Hess a call at 364-3790 at the Trails and find out all the options they have for your memberships in 2019. Also, the Brown Shoe Fit Company in Norman on Main Street next to Hobby Lobby. Brown Shoe Fit features the best fashions for you ladies. They also have a great selection of winter boots. If your feet are getting cold in this frigid air, you need to go buy Brown Shoe Fit. Find a pair of beautiful women's boots there. And men, they've got those rugged keens for your outdoor wear, or they've got fashionable men's business wear for their feet here at Brown Shoe Fit Company on Main Street next to Hobby Lobby. Also, Auto Accessories Unlimited, Indian Hills Road, I-35. Don't get in a cold car again. Allow Auto Accessories Unlimited to install a remote start for your car, for your wife's car, your daughter, whatever. Don't let them get in a cold car again when you can have an installed remote start that will get the car warm before you ever get in at Auto Accessories Unlimited, I-35, Indian Hills Road in Norman. And also, XR Tickets and limousine service. If you're looking for Thunder tickets or concert tickets, the best tickets available are available through xrtickets.com or give them a call at 600-9111. Mark, there's a, there's a couple of things that we haven't talked about yet. One was, is the bench and one's about rotations. Let's start with the bench. I mean, you mentioned it earlier, Paul George, the rotations that Billy's doing now is he's taking Paul George out earlier. Paul George used to always like to play the whole first quarter. Well, he's taking him out with about six minutes to go and then bringing him back. And as you said, subbing out Russ. And so as he puts in the, the bench, Paul George is running that bench team and doing quite well doing it. Uh, no, and again, I, I think Dennis Schroeder is good. Uh, I've got to get to the rim and penetrate. To me, the most crucial element of the bench is Nerlens Noel. And he's not the best player on the bench, but he's the most irreplaceable player on the bench because he can give them defense at the rim. When he was out with his concussion, it was extremely noticeable that there's no one to play the five spot when he's, when he's not available. Steven Adams can't play the entire time, and Nerlens Noel's defense is huge at the rim. If not, teams are going to get to the, to the rim. The Thunder don't do a great job of playing pick-and-roll defense, and he's pretty good at that. He's also good when he can stay inside, he can stand up to a guy with his back to the basket. So I think that Nerlens Noel, what a great find because they basically allowed him to come to Oklahoma City. It was a fit that he felt was good for his game, too. Uh, he's going to get paid next season, a big contract. Hopefully the Thunder might be able to find a way to keep him with the, with the mid-level exception. But he's critical to the bench. Dennis Schroeder is critical to the bench as a backup point guard, ability to score. He can play with the starting unit. Uh, but I think that Noel is the most vital member of the bench. I agree with you. I mean, in his length, I mean, he. how many times have we seen him poke away balls, you know, or get his hand on a deflection? 
You know, I mean, Paul George and Russell Westbrook lead the lead the league in steals. Paul George leads the league in deflections. But I tell you what, for what he does, Nerlens Noel does the same thing for that bench, and he gets two or three deflections or steals each each game for them with his defense, not counting the three or four blocks that he's getting at the rim. Well, he's an active player. So when, when Stephen Adams went out against Milwaukee, you know, he played extended minutes. He was on the floor. Billy Donovan knew that was a critical game, and he didn't try to sub Patrick Patterson in at the five. He just let Nerlens Noel go, and he's going to accumulate a lot of statistics. I mean, if he was a starting center in the league for a, a team like Charlotte or a team like New York, he'd be putting up some big numbers this season. So I, I think what he's doing off the bench in Oklahoma City is, is huge for this team. Uh, they've got to have him healthy and ready to roll in the playoffs. And that'll, that'll help. He will improve his game as they get closer to the playoffs because of that of that improved um, outlook for him. Also, Billy Donovan, I want to bring him up. Uh, not always a big Dilly, Billy Donovan fan, I yeah. haven't been, but this year, after that 4 start where a lot of people were calling for Billy Donovan's head, I mean, he has helped turn around this team. He's instilled that defensive mentality. And now the new wrinkle with the rotations where we just talked about where Paul George is coming out quicker and then going back in with the second team, I think Without a doubt, this is Billy Donovan's best coaching year, and I think he's coming into his own as a qualified NBA coach. Well, that's, that's life in the NBA. You better be able to see what's wrong and make some adjustments. Now, I think also after the 0-4 start, that was a crossroads for him, and I think after the Atlanta loss, to me, he was in a little bit of trouble. I mean, that, that, that team was heading the wrong way fast, not much defense. They missed Nerlens Noel inside, but there was a lot of ambivalence. There was a lot of bad shots. There was a lot of just bad habits going on. He kind of came up with a tinker in the rotation there and got the team back where they could hear his voice. And the NBA, sometimes really good coaches get tuned out by professional players. So that's something that Billy has to, to be aware of and constantly changing and evolving. That, that will be important in the playoff series because that's where you see some big adjustments made. Uh, teams find a way to defend you a little bit, and that can win a road game, and all of a sudden you steal a series. So. I don't think Billy's a finished product yet. I wouldn't say it's his best coaching season, but he's made two critical adjustments that have helped this team get to a really good point. Well, you know, and, and, and th those, are, those are valid points. I think from my point of view, it is his best because he is getting the most out of his out of his uh, players, his bench, and, and the solid defense that they have been just – you know, demonstrating most of the year, uh, I think that's a big improvement. But we can we can agree to disagree on that. I still think Billy Donovan is, can get better, like you said, but I think he's emerged now as a qualified NBA coach. But uh, all of that we'll find out as the season develops and the playoffs get closer. But for this time, we are here at Neighborhood Jams, a great place. you got to come. Try this food, the El Jefe, the Cobb salad, and the, the third wheel pancakes, as well as monkey bread, candied bacon, and the saucer sized biscuits, as well as all the jams that they have. You got to come here and find out how good this food is at Neighborhood Jam. For Mark Rogers, I'm Rick Heath. We'll see you next time on Thunder Weekly.